Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to downgrade A8 devices to an older unsigned iOS version using Future Restore. This method is completely free and for this demonstration, I have this iPhone 6 which is an A8 device and it is on 12.5.6. I will downgrade it to iOS 11 or you can downgrade it to any lower version you can also check out the version on my iphone itself although it is not tested personally by me but this guide will and should also work on a8x devices such as ipad air 2 to downgrade from ios 15 to 14 or it should also work on a7 devices such as iphone 5s ipad air ipad mini 2 and 3 and for A8 devices, it includes iPhone 6, iPod Touch 6, iPad Mini 4. The process will be exactly the same for all these devices. The very first thing that you will do is to open iTunes and connect your device via USB and then tap two times on the serial number and you will get the ECID, copy it and then Simply paste it somewhere, we will be needing it later. If you want to downgrade using Windows, the guide will be in the description and in the pinned comment. Alright, so I am on Linux now. You can use any latest version of Ubuntu for this method. You can use the same method on macOS also because all the tools used and the commands are exactly the same. You will need the latest version of Future Restore guester to get your device into pawn dfu mode you will need the saved sh sh blob for the version you want to downgrade to and the ipsw for the version you want to downgrade to you will get all the required links in a pinned command first of all let's get future restore you can get future restore latest version using the nightly link this is completely free now select the operating system you're on mac os or linux I am on Linux so I will use this release version and then download the zip file from here and then extract it and then you will get this binary. Next we will get the saved sh sh blob so I will use tss saver click retrieve and then simply right click copy the ecid that you have got from itunes then paste it here click submit open link and then you will get all the saved blobs for this device so for my iphone 6 i have all these saved blobs i want to downgrade to 11.4 so i will select it and then download the blob to my computer if you see a 404 error which means that you don't have any saved blobs you can try shsh.host click on find my and then right click paste and then list the APA tickets from here next you will need the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade to so I will use this website now select your device iPhone or iPad so I am using iPhone and it's an iPhone 6 all right and then I will simply scroll down and select the IPSW for the version I want to downgrade to so it is 11.4 and then simply download the file from here now simply right click here and open a new terminal where gaster and all the downloaded files are there now type here sudo space dot slash gaster space pwn now put your device into dfu mode all right so my device is now in dfu mode press enter and type in the password for your login press enter and now you'll see now you can boot untrusted images so now you are good to go with future restore now make sure that you are in the directory where you have this future restore binary now type here sudo space dot slash future restore hyphen t and now drag the sh sh blob here 
now type hyphen hyphen use pawn dfu hyphen hyphen set nonce hyphen hyphen latest sep hyphen hyphen latest baseband and now drag the IPSW here now press enter and now wait for this process to complete it will download a sep and then it will download baseband and like so your nonce for the blob will be set now if everything goes correctly your device should now be in recovery mode leave it here press the up arrow and then you will only need to remove these two flags set nonce and use pawn dfu now press enter and now it will start extracting the file system from the ipsw make sure that you have ample free space and now the process will start and then your device should now start restoring now here it will start sending the file system and if you see this FDR error please ignore it and leave it here until the process is 100% complete verifying restore now the process should proceed and succeed and now you should see that restoring has finished restoring succeeded and your device should now boot the downgraded iOS version all right as you can check it out here that I have successfully downgraded to iOS 11.4 on this iPhone 6 and everything is working as intended so similarly you can downgrade from iOS 15 to 14 on your other A8 devices such as iPad mini 4 or any device that is on A8X or A7 device. Now I have not personally tested A8X and A7 devices but they should work so please tell me in the comments that if those devices are working for you or not. That's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comments section and I will reply you as soon. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.